It's an age-old formula for success. Hook them with the video. Reel them in at the toy count. These Transformers come not to destroy us, but to entertain our children and defend the galaxy while they're at it. It's the job of the technicians in the APHIS Consumer Protection Lab to make sure they are up to the task. They'll first check to see what the toy is and its age grade. This toy is for children ages five and up. Then they'll check the country of origin to make sure that it is clearly labeled. Lab manager James Curley checks out several properties and claims of the toy before it ever comes out of the package. The package contains a warning about safe battery usage, not combining old batteries and new or different type batteries as part of the safety requirements. He also checks out the Try Me claim on the package and verifies that it does work as it claims. Then it's time to remove the item from its packaging for a closer inspection. Of course, removing a toy from its modern packaging can be a task in and of itself. One of the things James will check for is painted surfaces. The lab here does not test for lead or other heavy metal content in the paint. They'll contact the supplier for a copy of the toxicology report from an independent third-party lab and check it to make sure it meets federal requirements. Of more immediate concern is the possibility of a sharp edge on the toy that might pose a hazard to a child. Here, James demonstrates the testing procedure using the edge of a wing and the Sharp Edge Tester Model 3200. A piece of Teflon tape which simulates skin is put on the tester's spindle. He takes the edge that is to be tested and uses it to raise the spindle until the lines on the tester line up. This lets him know that there's the right amount of pressure to conduct the test adequately. When the button is pushed, the spindle makes one revolution and then the tape is removed to see if it has been cut. A complete cut through would signify a sharp edge that poses a hazard to the child. For this one, the tape is still intact. There is no cut, so the item passes the sharp edge test. The Galaxy Defender is not alone in the lab today. It has three smaller companions that James now turns his attention to. The changeable robot's packaging will get the same inspection as before. For now, he's looking closely at these items, checking them for potential sharp point hazards. If a potential sharp point is found, it will be checked on the sharp points tester. The bottom of the tester has a small hole in it into which a point would have to fit to be considered sharp. Here, he demonstrates with a test object. The point is inserted into the hole. The tester is raised up until its weight is resting on the point. If the tester's light comes on, the object poses a sharp point hazard to a child. The sharpest point on our changeable robot passes the sharp point test since its point will not fit into the test hole. This first drop. The drop test is a use and abuse test designed to see when an item breaks if it will create any kind of hazard. Since this toy is intended for children over three, it will be dropped from a height of three feet, four times at four different orientations. No breakage at all. So. No serious damage, no breakage. The Galaxy Defender held up to this use and abuse test. Would the changeable robots fare as well? Uh-oh, Houston, do we have a problem? A part has popped off of the robot, but it only came unsnapped. It can be easily put back in place and does not affect the safety of the item. The final test that each toy must undergo is trial by fire. Curly says the uninitiated might be fooled by the way an item burns. They see what looks like a lot of fire, but in reality, is not. In spite of looks, the burn travel is still well within federal guidelines, and all of the robots pass the flammability test. You can find what is sure to be a hot item on the shelf at a VXPX near you.